Hello everybody, and welcome back to You Got Five Minutes. Today's game is forced. Um, single player, campaign or survival. Campaign, please. And I can't actually remember, like, I remember playing the game for a little bit, but this was ages ago. Um, what the crap? What is this again? What? Yeah, that's right. You place the orb. Yeah. You drop the orb. What the crap? What is this again? Can I not just delete the progress that I made before and go through the tutorial again? <laughs> you see that? That's such a total, like, really annoying, like, glitch. <laughs> it falls through. It's like, you can't even go back. If you go back, you fall through the total world. <laughs> That's really annoying. Um, okay, trial one. Let's let's just do this. It's kind of like a MOBA, but kind of not like a MOBA at the same time. Um, some stuff unlocked. This has been ages though, so... Uh, left bumper and left trigger. So, what is each one of these? What do each one of these do again? Info, there you go. Your fully charged attacks now add two marks to enemies. I don't know what that means. The maximum number of charges on the hammer is increased by 10, allowing it to charge one second longer. Uh, range of fully charged basic attacks is extended by 1.5 meters. I think I'll do it with that one. And what's this? Spin around violently. Flame nado. Eh? And what's this? Call meteor. Mark Spender. Okay. I've not played this in a long time, so. Like, please, please forgive my ignorance of this game. Uh, I, re I was I was hoping to like get the game started and like go through the tutorial again, but like, okay, so you've got this like orb thing here, right? And what that does is you can place it down, and you can call it, and that'll pass through like these things here. And will allow you to get this. Whatever this is, I can't even remember. It's kind of like a Diablo y kind of like thing, but it's like arena based rather than. So, what you've got to do. Keep an eye on that hole. Yeah. Was be sure that Daniel lurked in such darkness. So we have to activate all the shrines. Remember, one there. a marked enemy is a vulnerable enemy. I don't know what that means. How do you mark enemies? Morgro is approaching. This is Morgro is approaching. Okay, continue. 
here. So essentially what you do is you, you go into each one of these rooms, choose a class, and then fight. Um, this is the rogue kind of class, warrior, uh, elf, and mage. So, you know, like shieldy mage kind of thing. Uh, it's a rogue class this time, I don't know. What do each one of these do? Info. The enemy has five marks, you deal plus two damage per hit. Basic attack hit increase attack enemy uh, increases attack speed. This can happen up to five times resulting in three additional attacks per second. And attacks against unmarked targets deal ten additional damage. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh, power kick a single target. Dash forward, avoiding harm. I'll take that for that. Charge up and release a spirit, uh, a spirit explosion to heal you and your allies and knock back enemies. I'll go for the kick one. There's nobody else there. Okay, so <clears throat> this music's really loud. They need to calm it down a bit. Put the doom rate really low. The power contained in these shrines can easily shatter stone. Or bones, for that matter. Go ahead. Try it on that statue over there. Three. So you can get the orb to follow you if you just hold down the X button. But you can drop it and then... She's over here, her son. Ah, right, okay. Get you. You can't pass through walls with that explosive thing. That's really annoying. Good. Focus on mastering my power. It will be needed later. So I have killed myself there um, by being a silly billy. So essentially, what I've got to do, yeah, let's do. It. Man, such a really bad late cooldown. Each statue takes 38 days to sculpt. Gladiator takes 20 odd years. Guess which one is in short supply. Oh, okay. So what I do now is come around here just to avoid getting exploded. Excellent. One statue left. Show me what you can do. Here. Flame on you. Um. Oh man, I forgot about this straight. Bring it over here. Oh, how did I do this again? Oh no! Oh my goodness. Why did I do that? I don't walk right in there. I'm a total idiot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it here. A big horde okay. is approaching. A big horde. Get ready. Get ready. Fight. Fight, 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 fight. Here they come. that kick would hit loads of enemies. That'd be great. That's it. Okay, yeah. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I died. So, yeah. I think you get the picture, though. It's like... It's... I think you can play it up to four players. So, like, it kind of... It kind of can be, like, a gauntlet kind of game. So, uh, you can get your... Your other friends online. I, I don't... I'm not sure if it's got, like, local co-op. But it's definitely got Steam, like, online co-op. Because, like, that's the whole point. Like, you, you can buy it in, like, four packs and things like that. And play it across Steam with friends. Uh, but, yeah. Hmm... It's a cool game, but I think it really it would really shine with like friends on board rather than just playing it on your own sort of thing, you know. So if you've got friends and you're looking for like something cool to play, like just kind of not like playing it online with like a massive team or anything like that, but just kind of like you and your friends, like three other guys or girls or whatever, you know. It's, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care what gender you are. Whatever. Whatever. Just you know, when I say guys, I just mean people in general. Uh, but yeah, so that was forced, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!